I swear that Hybe is going to turn me into a Disney Channel villain. Like, I don't know what the fuck's happening right now. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm super excited because we're going to be talking about Hybe's controversy umbrella. But first things first, I need to talk about a topic that is breaking news practically, and that is... BTS Suga has a DUI case right now and I absolutely did not think that BTS would have any major controversies but this one has kind of rose out of the dead suddenly after I even made my hot takes video where I included them in it and I'm like damn like I'm wow I'm like an oracle you guys are gonna hear my true opinion about this in just a moment but first I'm going to briefly explain it to you guys and I might not explain it in the most accurate or best way because when I read about the case it literally just came out so the information that I have is a little bit blurry um, if you guys want to do more research on it feel free to go ahead and do so and then come back for my true opinion if you want to have a more reliable source that is up to date so basically though <laughs> Suga was drunk on the street right he was like slay bitch i'm drunk as fuck right so he was drunk on the street and he decided that he was gonna hop on a scooter and this scooter was an electric scooter that in korea if you're driving this vehicle or like riding this vehicle you cannot do so well impaired but he was impaired he was on the scooter and apparently he like passed out on the street or something like that and they found him with the scooter and it's a whole thing you know what i mean the whole thing is a thing that being said that occurs and Hybe at first when they first make a statement they try to like lie and like brush things under the rug and make it seem like not a big deal but people find out the truth and they end up getting really like up in arms and they start hating on Hybe because why are Hybe such big liars I don't know what's up with Hybe and like them lying all the time but they be liars right and I do think that a lot of people took this as an opportunity to like knock down BTS a few pegs, which I don't like. I'm just like, guys, we get it. He has a DUI, but like this does not represent the entire group. And I think it's unfair to put everyone into a lump sum of controversy when, again, this is just one member going through it. And if he takes responsibility and he goes with the consequences of his actions, that's all he can really do. I do think that sometimes we forget that like idols are humans, too. And yes, a DUI is very serious and it should be taken seriously. There hasn't been anything major to the point where I think that we should go on a cancel hate train or anything like that. What I do believe, though, is that Hybe as a company is really lame and they need to actually be able to have PR a little bit better. You know, like I think that their PR is crap. But I also want to mention apparently RM was posting on Instagram at the time that this DUI thing has come to light and a ton of people were giving him flack for posting on social media while Sugar was going through like the stuff that he was going through and like the news had broke out and he ended up immediately deleting the post but I don't even feel like he should have deleted the post and there was no reason to actually like attack him for having a post up he should not be the one reflecting because guess what he's in the military right now and and also on top of that like he is just like posting about music I don't even remember exactly what the post was but it had nothing to do with anything and it didn't even insinuate anything about the thing that was happening currently so I think that's so weird that like people are so quick in like k-pop culture to try to make everyone into this villain when in reality I'm sorry I believe that we all have made mistakes and I know DUI is very serious because it endangers other people but to then put that on the other members as well I think is a little ridiculous like chill the fuck out chill you know it's not their responsibility they were not there um he did it on his own accord he's a grown-ass man like get over it like and we all know that in a couple of months what's probably going to end up happening is that nothing much is going to happen <laughs> and I think that's why people are trying to be a little bit more intense because it's BTS and they're like BTS like this is our chance to like come at them and this is our chance to kind of knock them down a few pegs and um, if we make enough noise then some someone has to do something about it because I think they're such a big influence now that I don't think it much is going to happen. I really don't think so. And I think that they're kind of a protected class in Korea. So I don't really know. I think that's why it's like if we're louder about the hate and the anger, then maybe like something will happen. But I don't know. I'm not even biased in this situation because in my last video, I literally have said that I'm not even a stan, a hard army or anything like that. I'm literally just someone who listened to them since debut and was at one point an army yeah but my opinion is just like 
okay, he will get consequences of some sort, whether that's a fine or whatever. And the next thing I want to talk about, which I think is kind of interesting, and this kind of links to the like Sugar's case in the first place, is that New Jeans recently had a weird rumor going around that Heading and Minju, Minji, who who the frick? What did I write down? Okay, sorry. I don't know what name I wrote down. I think I was just having an aneurysm. But they basically were caught clubbing. This controversy or a rumor thing that came out was so random and out of place that a lot of people actually think that it was Hybe's attempt to bury what was happening with Suga, which I don't know like how that would relate, but I also can see why that would happen where it's like, oh my God, they were caught clubbing and they're from a girl group. So I understand. It's just like that came out and of course it was fake. Like it was obviously fake. There's evidence already that it was fake. A Reddit post was all made and like all this news came out that it, it was a fake post post and i think if they were trying to bury sugar's case with new jeans on brand for them to be frankly honest it's hype but at the same time like i would find that really ridiculous i think that the way that they treated new jeans as a group is really sad because that was a group that everyone was super behind and i still am behind them i feel like they're amazingly talented and they deserve the best but they were unfortunately brought under a lot of controversy and drama that they had no choice in and I think a lot of people aren't understanding that they seem to be backing a door but I don't really know if they're backing a door because they fully understand the scope of the situation or if they're just loyal because they were there since their debut and I would feel the same way probably if I was under a company for so long I would have some form of loyalty to them because they're the one that grew me and raised me if that makes sense um that being said another kind of idea or like like alleged thing is that Adore had a hand in actually exposing Suga's um, DUI thing. And I, I can see that too. Honestly, I and Adore are both questionable companies in the first place, but I feel like to put it on Min Jin and be like, she's the one who did it. I'm also kind of like, does she have a tail on these bitches or something? Like why would she know that, you know? And I think with how recent and how fast it was exposed, that'd be kind of crazy if they did all that. Like, That'd be kind of skillful to have that much information and power. But at the same time, I am like, would they do that? I don't know. Like, I truly don't know. I feel like Adore and Hyber are capable of anything at this point, and they're not to be trusted by anyone so since we're on the topic of adore versus hive i think it's time we talk about adore versus hive i don't understand either of these companies at this point and i think that they need to go on hiatus and stop talking to the media i don't understand why they're both yapping so much on the media because it's like do neither one of you have fucking pr teams shut your mouths like i don't understand like why everyone's yapping about every little thing that happens because i'm like legally this makes it more difficult for you guys and then also on top of that it's just like this never ending war is actually impacting your girl groups more than it's impacting anyone else and at the end of the day if you want your groups to be successful if you want more money i think you need to keep your mouth shut and just keep a push and keep it moving because i don't understand why at this point it's still going like that should have ended when they did that whole press conference thing and like they go went back and forth sent the text message that should have ended a long time ago and i think minhee jin and adore using new jeans members and their parents in order to be like spokespersons for them is kind of disgusting because at the end of the day this is still impacting new jeans and their future careers and i think it's incredibly unfair that they're not being considered in any of this and she says that she wants to protect them and i somewhat believe her but at the same time she's still using her as, them as a puppet in order to get what she wants so that's the thing where it's like you care about them to an extent until you think that you need to protect yourself you care about them and that's the issue that i have you should care about them no matter what like it should not matter that you know you are being pushed and like thrown underneath a bus <laughs> because guess what? At the end of the day, you're just a fucking CEO. No one cares. I should not know this much about her. That's what I feel like. At the end of the day, I don't care if it's a CEO, creative director, whatever. I should not know this much information about you because guess what? I should be paying attention to the idols. I shouldn't know you like that.
the group that I want to talk about <laughs> in relation to all of this adore versus hype stuff is the Seraphim because the Seraphim was also thrown under the bus during this whole controversy as well. And the Seraphim as a group, I think is actually really great performers and their songs recorded in studio are amazing. And I think that people forget how much they loved the Seraphim when they first debuted. But of course, after some period of time, if your life stages aren't performing well, then at the end of the day, you have to reevaluate what you're doing as an idol to improve and get better that being said their actual documentary came out and i want to discuss whether or not it's a bop or a flop okay because i do think that their documentary showed a lot about them that we of course did not know and i think it gained a lot of traction and some people sympathized with them and empathized with them while others had more unkind things to say and they were saying that all idols go through this which do i think that all idols should go through that absolutely not i feel like idol mental health should be considered heavily and i think that it's a topic that is constantly pushed under the rug because it's like, if you're not mentally strong, don't become an idol. And I'm like, should it be a battlefield like that? Like, should it be actually that much of a mental battlefield to become an idol? I don't think so. But at the end of the day, like we have no control, like true control over the industry. We do have control over our mouths though. And so depending on how you want to go about it, you can either be a part of the problem or you can be part of the solution. That's all I have to say about particularly that. But I do actually agree with some of the haters in the sense where it's like, I don't think the documentary was as effective as Hybe thought it would actually be because the documentary actually displays like the members as if they're victims of the K-pop industry. But at the same time, it's really confusing because they decided to be the idols in the first place and Hybe failed to protect them by giving them proper training. So instead of some of the commenters kind of focusing on the fact that the members are going through a lot, a lot of people instead were kind of like, well, Hybe, maybe it's your fucking fault because you didn't train them well enough. And now people are actually like calling out the fact that their life stages aren't at the quality that they should be and I definitely do agree with that but I don't agree with the sentiment where people are kind of like oh the mental health of the idols like that's everyone deals with that and I'm like I don't think everyone should be dealing with that actually and another group that was also in the hive adore conflict was Islet and Islet received a ton of hate obviously on like their debut because of new G fans being like wait you are right Min Hing Jin this sounds exactly like new jeans you know what I mean and I understand the hate I understand the problem with like the groups not being as original as they should be but at the same time the hate got so exhausting to see and deal with that I really feel bad for her Islet at this point because they weren't even able to have their moment as a newly debuted group. Instead, they were flooded with hate constantly and their fans had to constantly defend them and not enjoy their debut as much as they should have been able to. And on top of that, we have a hate from Mocha and her vocals. And I understand her vocals are not the best and not the most stable, but also I do think that b Left should have done a better job in their debut and made sure that the song suited all of them vocally and set them up for success. Because in Are You Next, these men members actually are like very vocally talented so i don't understand where the what got lost in translation even Wan he actually really got better vocally during are you next and her debut like i'm just confused on what happened during that time period for them to sound the way they do now um on top of that one, he got a lot of hate for her weight and she's a literal child. She's still growing and I don't think that was appropriate whatsoever. I think Hybe and like b Source Music, everybody, all the umbrellas need to do a lot better in terms of protecting their idols and making sure that these controversies don't end up eating them alive. 